And welcome back, everyone, to the start of another My Hero What If. What if Midoriya, had, or I don't know if I'll do it, I'll probably just write it as Deku, and it's just easier, shorter. Uh, what if Deku had the nine-tailed fox? This comes to us only from Anime God. I am shocked. I looked everywhere for a, another person who gave me this, and I couldn't find it. Only Anime God. Maybe there's somewhere in the book. Maybe if someone mentions that, I also suggest this. I go look for their name in the book. I'll find it. Um, by the way, look at my amazing thumbnail. Isn't it, actually, I think this isn't, isn't that bad, all things considered. Especially if you look at it from a distance. Like, up here close, you can clearly see it's pretty haphazardly put together. The problem I found with making the thumbnail, I could have gone on another image, but I liked, uh, like an action-type pose for Midoriya in this. Uh, the problem, two problems I found was, one, Midoriya's eyes are really big. They're, it's not the same facial designs in My Hero as they are in Naruto, so that made that a little difficult. But B, I couldn't get a good, like, match with the fang. I couldn't figure out how to angle the fangs when Naruto's in the Karam, uh, this base Karam boat to, like, get in there for the face. So, this Midoriya doesn't have fangs. He has it in the series, he just doesn't have it on the picture. But now the big question that got her, that was asked, and I had to ask, and a lot of people brought up, how does this work? Because the tail, someone said, maybe you should just do all the tail beasts, not just Karama, because that wouldn't make sense. Well, that's not the what if, sorry. Beyond that, though, we're not having the tail beasts themselves in My Hero. And that what I mean by this is we're not doing a tail beast version of My Hero, or sorry, let me rephrase that. What? Sorry. <laughs> Pause. Reverse it. We're not doing a My Hero version of the Tail Beast. They'd be significantly weaker if we were doing that. We are doing what if Kurama was in Midoriya? What if Midoriya had Kurama? And therefore, what if the Nine Tail Fox is in My Hero? This now makes whoever has this character the strongest character in the entire series by default when they fully master Kurama's powers. So, how does this work exactly? I had to, because I was wanting to do Kurama at the beginning of the series where he didn't like people. But if I'm lo thinking logically, as logically as I can with this scenario, and like the most realistic way that Kurama could wind up in the My Hero world while still being Kurama, it would be when he, di when he dies in Boruto, after the barrier mode and his uh, chakra disappears. Well, we know from the uh, Blue Vortex that he even doing that won't actually kill Karama. Just he just will reform somewhere else after a while. So what if instead of not instead of reforming in Himawari, which screws over their verse, but we're not caring about their verse, he reforms in Midoriya, like through transdimensional bullshit, which is the only way you can really do this. Um, I mean, you could work something out, but it's the most logical. It's the one that makes the most sense. He somehow winds up in Midoriya when Midoriya is born. Now, because it still takes time for him to reconstitute, he still takes uh, is to reform himself, all that. That also means, though, that similar to Himawari, there is no seal on Kurama here. But perhaps Kurama, remembering Naruto, remembering Boruto, and all that, remembering befriending humans, chooses not to just leave Midoriya. Maybe I think that's the most likely way we can do this. He's he's grown not just the conscious, but a somewhat of a fondness now for these humans. And he's in this little infant, and he know remembers Naruto well enough to know, no, he would not want me to just abandon this kid. I'm I'm gonna stick by this kid. I'm gonna I'm gonna help him. Though this world, from the little I can tell, is very different than my own. And that's another problem. While chakra technically exists in any way you. Theoretically, in our real world, there is such things as the chakras, and we do have the we do technically have energy in our body that is kind of not uh, completely understood. We've seen feats of like energy transfers before, so chak chakra does exist. But let's let's be real here. In our world, it's like very, 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 very minimal. In the my hero world, it's a little hard to quantify chakra because we have individuals with quirks that produce energy outright. But do we count that as chakra, or do we count that as something different? When I did uh, Naruto having one for all, I counted it as something different. But again, that's not to say that chakra couldn't exist in this world, or doesn't even exist. It just probably exists in a different state on a different level. For example, Midoriya's body is probably not as compatible 
with Kurama as a ninja in his world would be, let alone Uzumaki. So when Kurama decides to talk to uh, Midoriya and talk, tell him about like his power and all that, what theoretically he can do, Midoriya's going to have a bit of a struggle at first, which, speaking of which, let's back that ass up one moment. <laughs> that, I didn't mean to do it that way, but yeah, let's just... Ugh. When does Kurama start talking to Deku? I think he starts talking to Deku shortly after Deku was revealed not to have a quirk. Because Kurama's busy just doing his own thing. He's waiting for his power to kind of come back in full. Now, with Himawari, he's this kind of chibi version of himself, but he still seems to have most, if not all, of his power. I think it's just he hasn't fully constituted his like form back yet. Or the fact that he got reincarnated and reborn, I guess, turned him into that. Turn it back into a much younger version of himself. Maybe that's possible too. And I think that actually that makes a lot more sense, really, because he had to kind of reconstitute himself. He's probably by the time Midoriya is going to UA, he probably would look more or less like he does at the beginning of the series, the giant nine tails. As it stands, when he tries to talk to Midoriya, I'd imagine he looks something akin to something like the nine tail fox in Pokemon, something like that. Not very much larger but nowhere near his massive size speaking of which midoriya is bummed going to classes all that he's getting picked on by bakugo so many things uh, considers a friend but eh. and uh, the fox is kind of just sick of this he sees that this kid's got a good heart he still wants to be a hero because he can basically he's kind of connected to midoriya in a way so eventually when he goes to sleep one night midoriya wakes up and he's thinks he's dreaming now, what does Midoriya's inner mind look like? It's probably much different than seeing Naruto's. <clears throat> I would say we still got, like, torches in there, uh, but it's probably much drier. Probably looks like something a bit more comfortable and warm. And so he's, like, traveling through these hallways, and eventually he sees this being, this relatively, looking like a medium size, like a wolf-sized fox with these nine tails. Like, whoa, what are you saying? Uh, easy, kid, easy. Uh, whoa, whoa, what? This is a weird streamer head. had ever had well that's interesting because you're not dreaming right now boy um well i suppose you're technically dreaming now i think about it but i pulled you into your inner mind because we need to talk and uh, talk i don't understand uh, who are you what, what's going on uh man you <laughs> uh just kind of like you yeah, well that's understandable my name is karama i am the nine-tailed fox the nine-tailed what now <sighs> I say, like, okay, sit down and pay attention. The best I can explain is, in my world, I died. It gave my life saving someone in my world. Somehow I found myself re, uh, revitalized in this world, sealed inside you. Ever wonder what that little birthmark on your stomach's about? By the by, I think that is, he doesn't have a see, true seal, but he has like a faint, dark outline that looks like the seal on his belly. He's like, oh, is it? Yeah, that's an aftermath of when I, uh, that's aftermath of when I basically reformed here. So, a little carryover from back when I was in my world. Uh, well, uh, okay, but what, what are you doing inside of me? I don't really know. I just I reformed, uh, I found the closest place to reform, and uh, here you are. I didn't get to choose a location. And so Midori's like, oh, what do you want? Oh, uh, truth, to uh, truth be told, uh, I was hoping to eventually just find my way back to my world. But before I do that, he's just looking at Midori, I'm, I'm going to help you. He's like, what, help me? You don't have one of those quirks in this world, kid. I... I can't say I can't um, pay attention to everything in your world, but I can see and hear a couple of things through your mind and process a few things. This world's interesting. It's similar, yeah, very different to my own world. I want to, I'm so I'm gonna, but you don't have one of those quirks that can allow you to be the hero, do you? No, I don't. But uh, but I keep seeing you every day, kid. What do you want to do? I'm gonna be a hero no matter what. A hero protects people just like all might. Hmm. Uh, good. I like that attitude on you. Uh, that's the reason I'm going to help you, even without a quirk, even even though you got that douchebag kid in your school. By the way, I'm going to actually say Midoriya's probably more like closer to 8 or 10 here. I'll actually go with 10. I think that works better. Uh, but, 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 but Kacho's not that bad. Yeah, he kind of is. Because, uh, yeah, he's not Sasuke. Honestly, Sasuke is better a person than Bakugo in the early starts of the series. <laughs> think, think about that. When Sasuke Uchiha, the emo dude who's all full of himself, is far and away the better person than you, than you are at the beginning of your story. I, and honestly, Sasuke still probably kind of ends up as the better person by the end. 
just because he also had to go through a bigger journey, uh, because he then went down the dark side and went really dark, pretty much was unredeemable. And do I think Sasuke has been redeemed? Uh, I'll be put it this way. He's at least in a decent spot in his life. Bakugo it was just a... Bakugo's been a jackass from day one. He got better near the very end, but he's been a jackass from day one. He's still kind of a jackass today. So, yeah, honestly... Uh, all because he thought he was better. Uh, anywho. And so, Karama just explained... The only there's one, well, I'll, we'll try practicing... Soon, next time you get a day off, kid, I'll, I'll teach you everything I can. Uh, well, including, uh, including how to use my power. Wait, your power? <laughs> you wait, you wait and see, kid. And so, the day after school, Midori is like trying to avoid Bakugo, probably does. And they go, let's find this. And he, he can suddenly hear Kurama in his head, realizing, oh, this wasn't a dream. This real. Don't worry, kid, we're connected. I can help you out. All right. So, let's go find out. First off, I got, uh, let's uh, see. I'm going to try channeling a little bit of chakra into you and, and, uh, and let you know how it feels. And so he does the bare bones amount of chakra he can do, which would be like what Naruto kind of does when he acts as a uh, zone. Not when he's like in an emotional state. When he's in an emotional state, he looks more like this. But it's just that standard amount of red chakra. And Midori is suddenly feeling this rush of power. It's like, whoa, oh God. And he says, whoa, and just starts moving around. Holy crap, this is amazing. And all of a sudden, ah, oh, God, okay. Oh well, the chakra seats. Ooh, that's, yeah, I was afraid of this. What do you mean? Uh, the, you, are the, you people in your world seem to be, okay, let me rephrase that sentence. The people in your world seem to be different than the people in my world. See, my ability is, uh, the, uh, I can channel, I'm just a giant mass of chakra, a huge mass of chakra. What, chakra, you mean like in spiritual Buddhism and stuff like that? Uh, something like that, except in my world, chakra can be, is, can be used by just about anyone. Even normal people have at least a little bit of chakra. This world seems to be a little different. You don't, you barely have any chakra to begin with. So that means uh, having all that chakra rush into your body all at once basically made you sick, basically kind of made you sick. Uh, and the worst yet is it would probably end up wrecking your body pretty quick. Oh, are you telling me I can't even do any of it? I can't do any of that? I didn't say that. We just gotta figure, get, get away, uh, train up your chakra. That's all. So we're gonna, so we're gonna put you on a bit of a regimen, kid, and then that way your body can get acclimated. We're gonna start, and so they start doing kind of like a training routine for the next couple of years. Uh, basically, he him getting Midoriya to work out a bit more, and it's not all might levels of work out because he's not prepping for one for all yet. Uh, this will be spoilers. This will be another one where I do think he gets one for all, but the the reasoning. It's different here. I think we'll get to it in a little bit, but Karama is the one who actually persuades him. I think you should take it. Um, but anyway, he spends the next several years, you know, working at, he's in good shape, not like super fit or anything like that. Not one for all. <laughs> I'm sure fit, but in good shape. He's also, uh, you know, practicing, you know, practicing what Karama tell, uh, has been teaching him about chakra, you know, even drawing out hand signs. The beauty, beautiful thing here, though, is that because Kurama spent so much time in the ninja world and with Naruto, he's got a lot of knowledge about jutsu under his belt. Now, that being said, unless he's using Kurama's power, Midoriya's not going to be throwing out a shadow clone or anything like that. But a couple of techniques here or there, like maybe even just figuring out a substitution technique, something basic like that, not impossible. But more to the point, because he's starting to kind of get his actual chakra working, because the chakra, and because because Karama's chakra is not walled off like um, walled off from Midoriya's, like Naruto's was with the seal slowly integrating his chakra in there, he can he can at will impart some chakra into Midoriya's system at any point in time. Uh, now, he has to be very, very careful with how he does that to actually give him any base chakra at all, but he can kind of do it. So by the time we get to the point, our main point in the series, Midoriya is actually in good shape. Karam has even been teaching him how to fight in his mindscape and, you know, translating that into, you know, his actual real life. Midoriya has never actually had to fight anyone yet, so knowing something and putting it into uh, practice are two different things. Uh, but more to the point, uh, Deku, by the time we get to the main part of the story, actually does have a level of chakra of his own. Not anything really amazing. 
he'd probably even be considered below average by most average tuning standards. But he's got enough that he can actually do like some of the base techniques Kurama has shown him, like say the transformation or standard clone jutsu, though not many. But beyond that, what was really important was the fact that as long as he had his own chakra, which he now does, his body won't reject Kurama's chakra right out the gate anymore. Or it won't be, like, taxed by Kurama's chakra as much. And so Midoriya now tries actually practicing, also figuring out how what it feels like to channel Kurama's chakra, and channels just the first level of his chakra. Now, while practicing with this, he's capable of doing things like the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Um, he's possibly even capable of doing a Rasengan, although that would probably take forever too, <laughs> quite frankly. I don't even think, um, I'm not even sure he could do that one, to be honest. At least not right now. But, um, you know, still, you could do things like the Shadow Clone Jutsu. He could maybe figure out, um, like, some elemental jutsus, maybe, but that would probably take more time that, you know, Midoriya just doesn't have. The point is, with Kurama Shaka, he can do, like, God knows how many, like, Shadow Clones. Uh, and he figured out very quickly that it can be used for, you know, training as well. Now, how long can he use Kurama's Chakra? If he's using just the base enhancement of his chakra, he can you do it for at least, I'd say, five minutes at a time. Again, he's not in this, he doesn't have the chakra level, say, like Naruto does. He or never will here. Uh, he doesn't have, say, the physicality and endurance of, say, like an Uzumaki or even at someone else, at least yet. But he's been doing enough practice with it, and Karama's been doing enough practice with him that he can get it down. He can go even further into the more, like, rage-fueled form, but that's more like a minute at a time before he has to, like, just turn it off. And he's got to be conscious of that, because that's where his emotion starts to get into a bit more of a heightened state. Anything other form beyond that is too taxing on him. He hasn't tried it yet. But the point is, is that Midoriya has had to hide this, because as far as everyone knows, he doesn't have a quirk right now. And he's kind of keeping it that way. And kind of like as a surprise reveal for the time being. And um, Naruto basically, uh, Naruto, you know, the guy, the examinee basically says, ah, yes, I, I, <laughs> uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, it's clear. You all want to be heroes. Yeah. Uh, Bakugo, you're, you're, you're applying for UA. Midoriya, I, uh, from what I can tell you, you're also applying to UA, all right? <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, um, and Midoriya. And one of the things about Midoriya is he's gotten a lot more backbone thanks to Kurama having his back. Uh, but he's still very much Deku. I mean, it, so he's like, um, yeah, that's right. Huh? It's like, Ugh. and so, you know, event, you know, Baku is like, look at you. Uh, and so he corners Deku as he said, as he does originally. It's like, <laughs> you, you're not going to try to get into UA and make me look bad, Deku, which, what the fuck are you talking about, Baku? Seriously, that inferiority complex. It's like, well, no, but I mean. We can both apply to UA. It's not a big deal. Look, I'm not going to have my record tarnished by some little nobody like you. So you're not going to need this anymore. It's like, hey! <laughs> Midori is like, it's like uh, it just tosses it, blows it up and tosses it in the water. Like, you! Baku! Yeah! And all of a sudden, a Deku's eyes flash like, yeah! And he just and he actually gets angry for a minute. Like, not scared when Baku turns out. He's like, and he just flashes his eyes. And Baku's like, what? And his eyes flash back. Just, Did you jerk! <laughs> it's like, uh, what did you? When is, and just kind of, you know, gets his book, all that. Bakugo is just like, well, no, I didn't see. I must have seen, miss, been missing. He doesn't have a quirk. He's useless. Have have some backbone like that. To talk back to me like that. Whatever. And so Midori is just, you know, walking by, and obviously the sludge monster comes, and gets attacked. Oh crap! It's like, and, you know, he he's about to. A, a, a thing is though, Kurama can only gives him this. Uh, he can only access Kurama's chakra naturally by like doing the hand side to do it still. But he can Kurama and a pinch can you know give him chakra, and he's just about to say, like, "Kid, hold on, I'm about to." Yes, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, well, that is a hey, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, so this is all might. Uh, yeah, this is all. Isn't he cool? Well, he's definitely powerful. I'll give him that. Uh, wait, no, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> And even Kurama's like, what the hell are you doing? You're going to get us killed. Uh, all right, just hold on. Wait, I just I just need to know. And now, when Midoriya still asks the same question here, because he does still, he doesn't have a quirk. He has a power. Can Maybe he still asks the question, could someone become a hero even without a quirk? After, you know, learning who All Might is, all that. It's like, you know, it's just some villain too tough to be taken down without a quirk. So, no, I don't think so. 
You can always name for, you know, their firefighters, uh, firefighters or, you know, police officers. You know, a lot of the heroes do a lot of work, but it's an admirable job. Uh, admiral. Admirable job, to say, uh, no matter what. You gotta be realistic. And, you know, Midori's sulking as walking along. Yeah. And Cross like, uh, look, kid, you might not have a quirk in this room, but you got me, all right? Yeah, but one day you might be gone. I'm not going to be gone until you become a hero. It's the uh, best hero in the world, kid. That's that's the promise I made. I don't go back on my promises. I was like, really? <laughs> Trust me, I learned that from an old friend. Uh, promises, uh, you keep your promises. That's that's a fact. And so, uh, thanks. And all of a sudden they hear that, wee, wee, and the sludge monster's got uh, Bakugo. It's like, you know, uh, it's not a real hero. Someone will come. It's like, uh, so someone, someone will come. And, and then obviously Bako sees Bako's face and Rose is like, ah, no, and he just rushes in, get away from him. Ah, and unfortunately he does not, he's not as strong as All Might. Even with Karama, even at, like at his strongest right now, he can't compete with All Might physically. You're going to have to, oh, that's actually a good question. Where does All Might stack when you think on the ta on the nine tail power ranking? Like per tail, where do you think All Might stacks? I, you know, I didn't even consider that. That's a good question. Let's figure that out real quick. He definitely out, but when we know All Might's full power, like he literally was hitting with the power of a nuke in his prime. Uh, because like his full power was like about five or six times greater than um, what he was in my here uh, in the main series. And he was really able to still cause the weather to change with the power. So uh, with like just a strike. So he probably is, he's, okay, so the full nine tails, we know he's not stronger than, not by a long margin. He's probably not even stronger than the eight tail version of the nine tails or even the seven tail. Uh, the six tail? I would say Malma is probably around five tail Karama level. I'm, I'm dubious on that, but I think that'd be a safe where, place to put him power wise. At least at this time. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe, what do you think? Maybe, let me know if you think that's a different... Let me know where you're... We'll put him. Right now, I'm going to keep him at five tail, although we never actually see the five tail form. We only ever see the four and then the six tail form. The five tail form, I think, shows up in the anime, but not in the manga. And I don't think we ever see the seven tail form. <clears throat> Either way. Uh, so, Majoria comes in. Now, again, he doesn't have all my level strength, but he's still got... You know, he's... he's um, in a heightened emotional state, so he actually bypassed his normal power usage and went straight to this form, which is stronger, but it's going to be used up a lot more um, quickly. And he just comes in. He actually does punch hard enough to get Bakugo, I think, out of it. Like, he doesn't blow the sludge monster away, but he still's like, Argh! Argh! It's like Argh! what? No, I didn't really. This kid's got, this kid's power. like, get away from him! Argh! And he starts kind of going at the sludge monster, but quickly he's just, he doesn't have the power to take him on, and he quickly runs out and goes down on the ground and says, like, you, what? What is this? You have a quirk? No, no I. Uh, it's not. I can't answer that right now. It's like, uh, 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 it's like yeah, get out of. No, no, get the save the kids. It's the little come. Oh, are you little pests? And then finally, you know, All Might shows up. <laughs> I really am pathetic, aren't I? Uh, I was telling you the traits that made a great hero, but I see now I wasn't living up to my own ideals! A real hero shall always put his life on the line! <laughs> it's still one of the, that was a, still a badass moment. Boom! And just blasts him away. Meanwhile now, uh, Minori is getting scolded. Uh, meanwhile, Bakko's just like... Ugh. And, uh, you know, Midoriya's walking away, and then Bakko catches up and... You! Uh, two things, two things, idiot! One, I didn't need your help to get out of there. And two, you've been hiding a quirk this whole time, haven't you? It's like, um, uh, okay, kid, you don't, you don't need to take that from him. But and he's not going to give up. So just say this. Uh, it, it turns out, uh, hiding's not the right word. It's kind of a latent. It turns out the doctor said it was a latent thing. It happens once in a while. I, I did have some sort of quirk. I, I did have a quirk. It just, I didn't want to get you any more pissed off than you already are. Okay, Jesus. It's like, yeah, and. Bakugo's been knowing that Midoriya's, A, nowhere near as meek as he was as a kid, and B, has actually been able to talk back some smack to him when he goes like, you, ugh, whatever, you're still not going to be able to beat me, Deku, just know that. It's like, right, sure, whatever, jeez. Ah, uh, 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 I am here, Midoriya. It's like, oh, all night. Uh, 
you had spent, you know, uh, I want to thank you, kid. Yeah, uh, you, um, if by going into action, you inspire me to action too. Uh, you asked me the traits to become a good hero. Uh, but you know what? Every great hero has, uh, did, uh, er, how did they go? I don't have the manga in front of me right now. Um, you know what every great hero's story was, uh, their feet moved before they even, uh, thought, before they even had a chance to think. That's why I, that's why I said, you know, you too can be a hero and all Deku starts crying and he's like, and Kurama's like, okay. I mean, it's very sweet and all. Then All Might explains his power. Now I see you already have a quirk, Midoriya. I'd say, ah, it's not quite a quirk. Uh, not quite that, hmm? And Karam is like, just, just go with it, kid. I'm like, yeah, sort of, hmm. Well, this power is, uh, yeah, I thought you said you didn't have a quirk. It's not quite a quirk. It's something else. Hmm, interesting. You're, you're sure about that? Yeah, I am. And uh, hold on. It's like, wait a second. And then, boop, <laughs> his eyes turn. Still saying, huh? It's like, huh? Hi there, All Might. Well, you must be All Might. Good to meet you. Uh, what, uh, what is this? My name is Karama. <laughs> and I, my name is Karama. I'm currently uh, uh, piling Midoriya for a little bit so you and I can have a chat. And so I'm like, okay, let's hear this out. And so he explains everything to All Might. It's like, huh, other realities and dimensions. I wish I could say I was absolutely surprised, but given how our world works, uh, it's, it was only about a matter of time, really. Uh, so what, what are your plans then? Hmm. Well, I was going to give give uh, my power. To, I've been looking for a successor for some time. Young Midoriya, I think, fits the bill uh, for my quirk. My quirk can be passed on, so, really. Uh, but we need to strengthen up his body and mind for, before he's going to take this quirk. Hmm. Strengthen up his body? I've been doing that for years now. His mind can barely handle any of my power. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, we're, we're not talking about that country. We're talking about one for all training. And even Carl's like, huh? And so, their training for One for All begins to get ripped. And, you know, the, meanwhile, Karam is talking about, you know, some of the things he's learned over these years. All that. And so, by the time they get to the beach and All Might gives them uh, his hair, now Midoriya is in his initial One for All shape. Which means his body... Now he's kind of can indefinitely have the base form Karama Chakra going. His emotional Karama form, let's call it that. It's the emotional base Karama. Uh, emotional based Karama, I think that's now the five, it's got the five minute limit. And I think he could maybe even push it to one tails if he had to. Uh, Karama at least thinks that. But right now they got to get to the exams. And so, you know, Midoriya just like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's go. And he just, the bell rings. And quickly just activates Karama's chakras and rushes past even Ida, who's like, how is, how fast is he? Which, yeah, that's one thing that would be apparent is that he's actually faster than Ida here. And so he rushes past the start and does, you know, he's trying to find some of the robots to take down, but everyone else keeps taking down the robots. Like, damn it, damn it. Even Karama's like, damn it, these little brats keep getting in the way. And then they see the, he sees the giant zero pointers like, crap. Uh, do you think we could take it down? Uh, maybe, maybe at some point when you are, I don't know, I can teach you a technique to do it, but I just don't know if you have the physical power to take this thing down right now. And Midori just decides to put it all into one punch with Karama power. Just boom, boom, and he just kind of, blast it back a little bit but it's not enough it swings nails him blah! his arm's nearly broken but Karama's like hold on kid and his arm's kind of peeling up a little bit but slowly how's it feeling it's a little numb we gotta get away from it we gotta get away from that girl though all right well what about the other thing uh, all right and remember Midoriya uh, remember from the bottom of your heart, say these words. Clench your butt. <laughs> what? Make a fist. Jump. Clench your butt and say these words from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> Even Karama goes with it. Smash. <laughs> he even adds his chakra in there for Karama's chakra and just boom. And all of a sudden, <laughs> ah! Holy crap, you just shattered all your bones. Karama's chakra is doing the best it can, but then obviously Ochaku and Prince are falling. Uh, recovery girl is, uh, you know, there to help him up. Oh, well, that's convenient. Thanks. And so Midoriya still gets in the UA. Hooray. But then you factor in later on the one other thing we'll be dealing with. Now, first off, he meets, he sees Ochako again. Ochako, thanks. Hi. <laughs> I like that. The name Deku. And, yeah, you know, they meet Aizawa. And they do their practice, not their physical test, but their, uh, well, not the practice, but their physical test. And Midoriya... No, is not going to be using one for all here. So he's focusing right now on just using Karama's chakra to get through the day. 
Luckily, because he now can just use his chakra indefinitely, Karama's chakra, and he's also probably got a good little control of, like, he's, it's not just coming off him like a flame right now, it can, he can actually kind of, like, hold it to his body, so it's looking more like an orange glow. And so he just, and the tests begin. He flat out beats Ida in the speed test, beats, uh, I'll be actually be honest, I don't know if he would beat Mineta in the other, I don't know what that one was, frankly, the, uh, you know, back and forth one. The jump? I think he beats majority of everyone. Um, <clears throat> uh, the what, what were the other ones? Uh, oh, uh, the the lifting one or the grip one. I actually don't think he went on that one either. There's a couple of them who would probably win on that. Then there's obviously the uh, the throw, which not being no Chaco, that's just not happening. But I think he gets like the next best place. And so now Bach goes looking on, it's like you. Midoriya, how powerful are you? Tell me right now, but Midoriya's like, ah, oh, this is Midoriya's just like, ah, oh, crap, and all of a sudden, <laughs> uh, because, and at first I saw it also, it's like, yeah, you can only use your quirk maybe once, right? It's like, wait, you have another, your quirk, does it up your strength too? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it does. Anyway, Bakko tries to get in his face, and I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. And so finally, they had their team uh, exercises where you know they got to stop the villain. They go, they got to be the villain, and they got to be the heroes. <clears throat> now Midoriya's costume still looks the same, uh, and luckily, because he has Karama's chakra on his side, he doesn't have to use one for all all that much. At least not as much as he would normally. Uh, now you know him and Ochakra are wandering are wandering around. But Baku comes in. Midoriya's. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I figured you'd be coming after me first, uh, Baka, Deku, and uh, uh, Ochako go. And he got, you know, he's fighting, grabs him, just flips him. Pull. He read my moves. He's like, I'm not gonna be the guy. Deku oh, cowers anymore. I'm my Deku's the name of a hero. <laughs> he's like, you and uh, uh, no, Baka starts to attack him. This time, however, Midoriya is not backing down. Just gets out the tape. Baka rips the like, crap. I gotta, uh, hopefully, Chaco will be able to handle him. And so, now, it's a straight-out actual fight between Midoriya and Bakugo. And even though he's scared, like he kind of is in the original, he's got, has Kurama there in terms of, like, you know, watch yourself, kid. So, Shut up, on Jutsu! So, what? <laughs> and all of a sudden, just grabs him, just starts beating, actually starts beating on Bakugo pretty good, except, <clears throat> quickly pops out this, uh, pops out the clone, just, <laughs> And Bakugo's just like, I don't know how you're able to do that. What kind of quirk is this? And everyone's like, that's actually a really good question. All Might, meanwhile, knows uh, it knows what the truth is. But he makes up a clever lie that he probably figured out how to do uh, down the road. Uh, Midoriya's quirk seems to be an energy-based one. Not only can it enhance his body, but by converting the MG into a specific type of mass, it allows him different effects. At least that's the way young Midoriya once described it that I heard of. <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, and you're like, oh, that makes sense. It's like, shadow Cloud Jutsu! <laughs> Multiple clouds. They're all gonna die! <laughs> die, 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 die! And then Midoriya just comes in, boom! Smacks him right across the face. <laughs> Midoriya turns out to actually be a better fighter than Bakugo at this point. And, but Bakugo still has, his quirk is still dangerous as hell. So he just, boom, blast Deku back. <laughs> uh, and Deku starts to go on the run. Just, <sighs> Is that, are you okay, Brett? Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> your, your chakra's really helping with recovery, but damn, Bako's good, even with, even with me going all out. Uh, I might have to push it even to one tail, kid. One tail might be... I don't want to kill Bakugo. Uh Well, what are we going to do? I don't know, but, but you... Are you hot? You, are you, you've been mocking me this whole time, Deku? It's like, no. It's like, I've never mocked you, I mocked you Bakugo. I've admired you. It's like, shut up! Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's see if you dodge this. They designed these things right to my specifications. It's been collecting my sweat the whole time. It's like, well, I could go. That's, uh, that's, uh, you're going to kill him. He won't die if it's, a, if it's not a direct hit. And then, you know, blast it. And Baku, and Dory's just like, crap. Uh, come on. She finally grabs Deku, just does that backhand. Throws in the ground. Pah! Deku's now angry. Just, I told you I'm not taking any more crap from you! Just kind of launches up like an animal. Kind of like how uh, Naruto did against uh, Haku. Just, just pah! spin kicks him. It's like he's got, Midoriya's gotten even stronger. Whoa! Blast Midoriya. So they're just going back and forth at each other for a while. They finally just go, uh, they finally, and Midoriya's like, I don't have enough power. 
I, I, I don't have enough strength left. I can't maintain this for much longer. Come on, Ochako. Uh, uh, Ochako, now! Uh, smash! <laughs> and just combines, uh, you know, finally just, it releases and he has to use it to just get the final win. Just, boom! And just, uh, I've never been mocking you, Bakugo, but it's power. I've only recently learned how to really tap into it. It still damages my body when I go all out. This is... Still haven't been able to beat you yet. Ugh. 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 It's like Karama's like, Ugh. you know you went soft on him. Yeah, and because Deku's probably in his mind right escape right now. Just like, you know you went soft on him, right? You could have beaten him if you'd just gone one tails. He's like, I know, but I didn't want to hurt. Uh, he's my, I still th think of him as my friend. He's an asshole. But I, but that's not what a hero does, it, it, is it? It's not. They're not someone who takes out their vengeance on someone who's done them wrong. They're someone who tries to save them, even when they've done wrong. And Karabu just kind of looks at like, you really are something unique, kid. I'll give you that. And so Midoriya gets healed up. And then obviously uh, Baku comes out. Now, I don't think Midoriya actually tells him that he got his quirk from All Might. Uh... <clears throat> Because, but I do think he says, yeah, I didn't, I, <clears throat> I gotta be honest with you, uh, uh, about this power. It's something that's very new. To, it's something I've had for a long time, but I've only recently learned how to access it. I had help from someone to do it. It's like, whatever, I don't need to listen to any of this. Cause, so basically, I think he cuts him off right before he reveals the whole one for all thing. That is important. Now, I'm not saying Bakugo still might not learn about one for all. I'm just saying it's not here. And then he's like, this is the last enjoy your way. This is the last time you're ever going to get it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not the best anymore. But I'm Bakugo. Cough. <laughs> Bakugo was one of those characters I loved reading about because I loved watching him get shit on because he deserved it. Again, he really did come around near the end. I'm giving them full props for that character arc, absolutely. But man, oh man, when he got when he got shit on, it was well deserved. Anyway, that is the end of part one. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Let me know. Ideas for who would wins, what ifs, all those videos I do. Same thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one on Thursday because the week of what if is this week. So thanks for watching or next week. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.